On this bumpy beer tasting, I have Ingenuity number four. So Ingenuity number four is a New England IPA. It is brewed by Abel Ebenezer Brewing Company. They are out of Merrimack, New Hampshire. Uh, this beer comes in at 6.7% ABV. Uh, no, no canned on date. Do not know, do not know how old this one is. Uh, but yeah, there's the label art. It's pretty much just the name. There's standard uh, bunch of pine trees and stuff on the bottom. Let me go ahead and uh, just read this real quick because they always do something that has to do with like mostly historical battles and stuff like that. Um, so, fun fact history time with Bumpy. By 1850, the United States suddenly emerged as a global economic powerhouse. Wild new inventions and innovations became a staple of American culture. As one European attendee of the Centennial Exhibition remarked, the American invents as the Italian points or paints and the Greek sculpts. It is genius. And the best explanation many have pointed to is a rather unacademic one. Yankee ingenuity which refers to the dodged determination of the citizenry to get things done, no matter the challenge. You could call it worth, uh, worth ethic, creativity, talent, imagination, genius, or just plain stubbornness, and you wouldn't be wrong. One could argue it's a combination of all of the above. In essence, New Englanders know how to get shit done. So, that said, let's go ahead and give this a pour. Okay, so, the head on this very tight, white, bubbled head, uh... Coloration of this beer is kind of an odd orange coloration. Uh, yeah. It's like orange juice, pineapple mixture type coloration on this thing. Uh, let's go ahead in for the aromas. Parents, I'm just going to give it the 6 out of 6. Um, it's a New England style IPA. It's very hazy. The color on it's not really the prettiest, but it's it's fine. Um, good good head retention there, lacing. Um, the aromas I was getting off this. First thing I noticed was pear. Um, haven't smelled pear for quite a while. I was kind of on a trend at one point with pear and uh, pretty much thought my nose was broken. Everything was pear. But the pear is back. And uh, I'm also getting a little bit of a banana-esque note in this. Some papaya. Tail end, I'm picking up like a floral, a floralness to this all. I was re reaching in, trying to pick out like some type of malt note. Uh, I can't get it. I just got banana on that sniff there, so. Yeah. it's uh, It's got some different aromas to it. For sure, um, the banana note actually smells kind of like banana baby food. Um, so a little bit of a sweetness, so there must be you know, a little bit of a malt backbone in there. Just not uh, able to say, hey, it's cracker bread or anything like that. Uh, it's just adding a sweetness to the aromas. Uh, so for the aromas, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. So time for the first swig. Let's go ahead and cheers.
I'm running the uh, flavors in this. Picking up a bit of a cracker, wheat type uh, malt note, grist. Out of the grist there. Um, bit of a pear, uh, papaya, and banana. Kind of almost in that order. Uh, the mouth this is extremely creamy, soft. Uh, I think like when the Bear Patrol, Average Joe, when he talks about like the other half's mouthfeel, um, this is like pillowy soft. So I'm pretty sure this is kind of, I've had a couple other halves. And yes, this has that, that nice creamy soft mouthfeel. It's uh, velvety in the mouth. It's nice. Medium body, very low carbonation on this. Um, there is a bitterness. Uh, it's light, but it does it does linger on afterwards. Uh, after the uh, aforementioned fruit type flavors that I'm getting in the uh, flavor here, so uh, my flavor. 16 out of 19 I'm going to give this one. The body on it, perfect. 5 out of 5. It's awesome. If I could go above and beyond on the body, I probably would. I'd give it a 6 out of 5. But uh, overall, it's, uh, this one it's pretty decent. Um, definitely wouldn't mind drinking it again. More, more than likely, something I might pick up. If I was out at a restaurant and they had it on tap, something like that. Uh, but a 7 out of 10 for my overall. Um, so the Able Ebenezer Brewing Company's Ingenuity number 4, New England IPA. Gets a bumpy 43 out of 50. It's going to land this at a good beer. Uh, so I appreciate you guys. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you, guys, girls, dolls, whatever. Whoever's watching, thank you very much, and cheers.